Hey guys, Karen J here. If you're watching this in Sydney, this was filmed like beginning of June, 1st of June, I think I say that. There was not even a whisper of the virus returning at this point. I did not go out on a huge Lego adventure while this whole shit was going down. This was before. So I just wanted to like clear that up in case anyone's like, what the fuck is she doing? It was fine back then. Okay, enjoy the video. Today is the 1st of June. Today we're getting so many new Lego releases. I don't know what like the Lego vibe is on a release day. Do lots of people go to the store and pick it up or like do people just stay at home and get them or like and order them? I don't know. But because I'm like super extra when I love something, I'm going in to the Lego Broadway store because I feel like they're probably one of few stores that will actually have the stuff in store today. So I'm going in today. I'm so excited. It's been a long time since I've been on like a, my own adventure. I don't love going places by myself because I get a little bit nervous. I don't remember the last time I went into the city by myself, probably years ago. So I'm a little nervous, but it's gonna be fine. I've gone a little bit extra with my look. One, because I never go anywhere at the moment. So it's fun to be able to like look nice. Two, I'm going to the city so people are wearing different things for different reasons in the city. It's not like going to Penrith where if I wore this, people would be like, what is she doing? So I got my black jeans. I got my Chelsea boots as always. This is a coat that I got the other day from Princess Polly and I kind of love it. Swiss said he thinks I look like I'm from the Matrix. I've never seen the Matrix so I assume, you know, he means, wow, Jay, you look so amazingly cool. You'll fit in so well with the rest of the world. Great job buying that coat. But look, it's got like fluffy sleeves. <gasps> and I went for my Ahsoka shirt because I like looking like an adult, but also if people walk by me and are Clone Wars fans, they'll be like, oh, she likes Clone Wars. You know, like, I <laughs> sound like such a dumbass, but I like having that, like, that contrast of, like, cool, bit of a dog. <laughs> They're releasing, I think, eight different Harry Potter sets. I love my Harry Potter Lego sets. In case you haven't seen the situation in my study. So this is my current Harry Potter Lego bookshelf. Dun, 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 dun. And then I have the astronomy tower over here because it doesn't quite fit on my shelf, unfortunately. And then I have my tiny new Star Wars Lego. I have the Women of NASA Lego and I have my Birch Books Lego. So really, as a Lego fan, I'm a bit of a newbie. I don't have a lot. So I'm gonna get on the road now. I'm gonna do my best to film like little bits. If the next bit you see isn't very full of content. I tried my hardest, but sometimes I get a little bit stressed. It's a little bit much. Phase one of the day is done. I made it into the city. I'm here. I parked in my car. Everything was fine. It was a little bit stressful. People are scary when they drive, but I'm here. Now I have to find the Lego store. I don't know how that would go, but Let's go. received their shipment. I'm so sad. <laughs> Initially I thought I'd made a huge mistake by not doing click and collect because a huge section of the shelves around all the Harry Potter stuff was completely bare and I was like oh no everyone's already bought it all. <laughs> the guy came up and he was like can I help you with anything and I was like no because I thought it had all gone and he was like you can see all these bare spaces that's where the new Lego was supposed to be but we didn't receive the shipment. And I was like oh no <laughs> it just kept getting worse and it just didn't arrive so that's a thing that happened to me today i literally spent maybe like 20 minutes in the shopping center and then i just came straight home because i felt very deflated <laughs> i was just so excited you know you're so excited for something and then for some reason it just doesn't happen i'll leave this for now and pick it back up when i know that I'm going to get my Lego. I don't know when that will be. I would go back tomorrow. I just want my Lego. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Um, please excuse my little ball. I'm trying to trick my hair into being voluminous. Vol vol voluminous. Volu 
It's the next day now and they have the stuff in stock. Off I go again, back to the Lego store, back to Sydney. Um, but let me just show you my look for today. So I call this my yesterday was my ideal Lego store outfit and today I just want to be comfy look. All right, it's time to get in the car and do the drive. Let's go. Okay, once again, I have made it into the city. Congrats to me. This time though, I know where the Lego store is. Let's go. If they, if they don't, yeah, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. They're gonna have what I need. It's gonna be fine. I still didn't have hogs me. Apparently it hasn't come in yet in the shipping, but I got chairs and I got the Chamber of Secrets. So I am like very pleased. It's you longer. Okay, you guys sit there. All safe and sound, you live there. I did it, I got my Lego. Yeah, they still didn't have everything. I wanted to also look at the Infinity Gauntlet because that came out today. But they had the Guardians of the Galaxy ship, which I wasn't sure if I was gonna love, but it looks so cool. But they were still missing a lot of stuff. So, I mean, I might have to come back. Look at this bag, guys. <gasps> Stop. Way better than ever having a child sit in the bag. Let's go home and I'll build some Lego. Maybe. Do I want to build it today? <gasps> I might build the chess set today. I don't know. I didn't even think that far ahead. I have two new Lego sets, guys. Guys, look how freaking huge this bag is. <laughs> look at it. It's humongous. Someone could carry me around in this bag. I'm so excited. I never had a Lego bag before. How cool. Okay, let me show you what I got. Oh, it's so cool. I got wizard's chess. Whoa, this is such a cool idea because you can use it as a real chess board. Oh, it's so cool. And then a huge one. I almost died trying to get this off the shelf. It was paper embarrassing. And then I have the Chamber of Secrets. Look, this one's big. Guys, it's new Lego time. <gasps> I got an anniversary Lord Voldemort. <gasps> what did I get in this one? Anniversary Professor Snape. <gasps> I bet there's anniversary ones in all the new sets. <gasps> Shut up. Look, they're gold. <gasps> I actually have to do some life stuff now. I will be back when it's time to build something. <laughs> Hello, I have returned. I've done life stuff. I've got my comfy clothes on. I'm just starting Philosopher's Stone. I feel like I haven't watched Harry Potter in ages, even though I watched through the whole thing in the week between Christmas and New Year. I just feel like I haven't watched it for ages and I missed it. Like it just, the music just started and I was like, <laughs> Harry Potter fans will get it. It's like coming home. You'll get it if you love it. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to talk a lot because I always talk a lot. Build some heckin' Lego.
guys, it is the next day now. As you can see, I've started on the Chamber of Secrets set. I'm currently watching Chamber of Secrets, of course. I only had like 10 minutes of Philosopher's Stone left last night when I finished the chess set, which was really cool. Obviously I'd keep watching, but it was, it's cool to do like whatever movie matches up with the set I'm building. I just find that really exciting. So it was fun to like build the chess set. Finish Philosopher's Stone, build the Chamber of Secrets set, and it will take me longer than this movie, but I forgot to check back in when I finished the chess set last night, so let me show you it. I mean, I know I filmed it and like you've seen it, like I get it. Doesn't it look so cool? <gasps> so you get Harry, Ron, and Herm in their proper outfits from the scene. You got your pawns, castles, or I mean, rooks, official term. You've got like the little sticky sword out the side and a shield. And you've got your knights which do actually look like they're riding a tiny horse. I mean, they had to do that, but I really appreciate it. It looks really cute. Your bishop, he's got a weird like whippy thing, <laughs> but you know, let's roll with it. Got the king, your queen. That's all the pieces, guys. I'm so excited. I like that I have a Lego that is like usable. So yeah, that's the chess set. I'm missing Professor Sinistra's head. Now, I think they might have given me a top hat instead of a head, which is very sad. <laughs> I can write it, but also, like, can I be bothered to? I don't know. We get a tiny sort of Gryffindor. It's so cute. I didn't even think about that. Look. Also so random, you get a tiny Luna, tiny Luna, in second year, it's so funny. This is here now. Hi, Lily. The scene is set. It's time. Will we get through to the next task? <laughs> we did it, guys. Hogsmeade is here. I have it. It's mine. It's like a week since I last filmed. I didn't think it would sell out, so I kind of left it for a little bit. And then when I went to check, the normal Lego store had sold out. The Australian Lego store had sold out. The store in Broadway had sold out. And I freaked out. Luckily, I did manage to find it on the Maya website. And I bought it straight away because I was like, if this sells out, I am going to cry. And it's finally here. Yes. <laughs> Look how cute. I love this. I wish it had maybe like four of the shops, but this is just the cutest thing. It is, by the way, the perfect Lego building day. It's like a top of 11 and it's snowing down to like Lawson, I think. And it's raining and oh, guys. Also in normal life, it's a perfect day to watch Harry Potter. It's also like, such a cozy build. I'm going to get Harry Potter started and then I'm going to build some Lego. <laughs>
Honestly, you'll never believe it guys, but I actually forgot to end my video. I never do that. Thank you so much for watching my Lego journey. Man, what an ordeal. I hope you are having a great week, especially if you're in Sydney where it's an absolute shit show. But I hope it's going as well as it can be for you. I hope you're okay. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.